friends welcome back if you are new welcome my name is Nikki we are doing a what sold video get a snack get a drink this is gonna be long I haven't done one of these in a month or two I don't know but we're gonna go through sales from the last two weeks I don't know if I'm gonna do every single sale you guys or else this video will be an hour long and I, I don't know what sold videos are not my most popular videos if you want to keep seeing these let me know in the comments down below but honestly my most popular videos are come through with me's and thread up hauls so doing these what sold videos I'm just kind of like it's just a lot to edit in all the photos so I'm like why am I doing it if you guys don't care but I Honestly, my favorite reselling videos to watch are what sold videos because I learn what people are buying, you know, what they want. And my boyfriend's calling me. Give me a second and we're going to get right. started. Um, you're going to hear me talk about these again when I do my what sold from my Quick Lots palette video. But if you didn't see those Quick Lots videos, I paid 1100 bucks for four general merchandise, Nordstrom general merchandise quick lot boxes um, from Quick Lots. And if you saw that unboxing, you know that I got close to like 100 or 130 pieces of cashmere halogen, which is Nordstrom's house brand um, cashmere, all new with tags. I got something like 40 pairs of gloves in different colors, scarves, shirts, and I have been selling through them like crazy. I did hold on to them because I filmed that unboxing, what, like June, July? I don't know, you can go back on my channel. I'll link them down below. I filmed that those unboxings in the summer and I held on to the cashmere and just started listing them end of August, September, and I have been blowing through them. The first two sales we have, and they sell at different prices. They sell anywhere from um, 15 to $35. Like the sales are just ranging, but a what sold video, on that palette is coming i would totally repurchase that but they haven't had it for sale and if they do i think since i filmed that video they've had it for sale maybe once and it sells out in like five minutes i don't want to order just clothing from them i am swimming in clothing no joke i probably have about 300 pieces of inventory of clothing that i need to get listed um, and I'm about to blow through that in November and get that listed. So I don't want just clothing. I really want the general merchandise because I loved all the little knickknacks. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. That was a crap ton of work. I got like mounds of jewelry that was tangled together. Um, a lot of stuff was broken and things. So it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, but I want general merchandise. So I keep looking on their website. I don't see anything. I would even buy a full palette from them, general merchandise, but I don't want to pay the freight shipping and they're all the way across the country i think they're in north carolina south carolina i'm in los angeles the shipping would be ridiculous so if you see the quick lots general merchandise nordstrom thing again hit me up on instagram or something i would love to buy it again so the first two sales are these halogen cashmere fingerless gloves one sold for 21 dollars and it gave me a net earnings of 1680 the other one sold for $20 and gave me a net, no. The other one sold for $25 and gave me a net earnings of $20. Two different buyers, they sold within minutes of each other. And yeah, I'm really sad I'm coming to the tail end of this stuff. I think I have like 16 or 14 tan cashmere hats left. I'm almost sold out of all the gloves. Surprisingly enough though, the scarves are not selling. I still have like 10 cashmere scarves, all new with tags. I haven't sold a single one. I think I've only sold one of those, but the gloves, the hats, just blowing through them. So super happy with that. Um, I paid $2 per item in the Quick Lots palette. So I ended up getting 500 items that I could sell. I got way more than that. I, I wanna say that palette came with close, including all the jewelry, like 800 items, but a lot of it I could not sell. Uh, broken, damaged, uh, stuff leaked on it. So the actual items that I could sell were 500 items and that comes to like two, it's like, Cause it, cause shipping was a hundred bucks. So it was 1100 bucks. It's like $2 and some change. So super happy with that. Would totally buy that again. I've made thousands of dollars in profit. Um, I will keep a lookout and buy it again. Uh, these true religion jeans, these were wide leg. They are a size. What size are these? 
$6.29. I got these from Dollar Day. I buy True Religion jeans still if they're in good condition and if I'm paying $2 or less. A lot of my inventory I get on Dollar Day. I love Dollar Day in Los Angeles. I'm so sorry if you do not have Dollar Day where you live. You guys message me all the time saying you're so lucky to have Dollar Day. I know I am. And when I toured Goodwill, I did a back behind the scenes tour with Goodwill on this channel like a year ago where the marketing director took me like into the Goodwill outlet in the back area. I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it. Um, she told me they lose money on dollar day, you know, cause they're selling a lot of inventory for a dollar. And even though a lot of people shop it, they still lose money. So I'm like, oh my God, you're never gonna get rid of it, are you? It's just like, no, not for the foreseeable future. Cause it gets people in the stores and they buy other stuff, but I am so grateful for Dollar Day. I hope it never goes away. So I got these on Dollar Day. I paid a dollar, obviously. Uh, these sold for 26 minus the Poshmark fee gave me, I should say, this is all stuff that sold on Poshmark. We'll do a separate video for eBay. Maybe a separate video for ThreadUp. <coughs> oh, my sinuses. You guys don't watch what sold on ThreadUp videos. I feel like that's very niche and it's very time consuming. So I don't know if I'll do that. And eventually I'll do a what sold on Amazon. So this gave me a net earnings of $20.80 minus the dollar I paid for them. I made $19.80. Super happy with that. This is a bundle set uh, of the cashmere, the halogen cashmere that I got in the Quick Lots half palette. Uh, these are the gloves and then the halogen hat. It was, you know, matching colors. Um... She offered me $55 and then I have a seller discount where if you bundle two or more items, you get 10% off. So she got a discount of $5.50 minus the Poshmark fee of $9.90. I made a net earnings of $39.60 minus the $4 because remember, each item cost me $2. So I made $35.60 on that. Super happy with that. And these were very easy photos. One thing I love love about buying palettes. I've only bought two in the 10 years I've been reselling. 90% of my inventory is thrifted or retail arbitrage, but the two palettes that I've purchased, I've purchased the Revolve palette, the Quick Lots half palette. One thing I love is multi-quantity items. It is such a time saver, you guys. You can do one listing if you have 10 of the same item and you just put quantity of 10. I know some of my Poshmark friends prefer to make 10 separate listings for an item. I've done that before. I find it's just more time consuming and annoying. I don't know, it works for some people. I just don't have time for it. Sometimes I'll do it if it's like a quantity of five or less, um, but yeah. That's one thing I loved about doing uh, this these halogen cashmere items. It was just easy. You know what I mean? Um, next up, this new with tags. This is from my Revolve palette. It's the We Wore What Delilah Bikini Bottoms. These were very popular. It had like 20 likes almost within like a day or two. This was listed for six months though. This sold for $50. This was a full price sale. Minus the Poshmark fee, and I did offer free shipping because I want to move through some of this Revolve stuff. So if you go look at my Poshmark closet and you see some of the Revolve items, it just make me a reasonable offer and I will probably accept it, or at least counter. So this gave me a net earnings of $32.55. I am super happy with that. Here is an item that I just could not find to save my life. This is a free people um, Mari printed bralette. It's a size large. It sold for $18. Would it gave me a net earnings of $14.40? I could not find it, you guys. I searched my inventory high and low and I could not find this item. I hate when that happens because I don't want to let a buyer down, but I couldn't find I have it. To take this jacket off. It's just too hot. It's November, early November that I'm filming this, you guys, and it's currently like 78 degrees outside here in LA. It's just, fall came. We had some fall weather for like two weeks where it was like crisp and it was like a high of 60, and now we're back to the 80s, and then it's gonna change again, it's a mess. All right, another Quick Lots item, this Case Defy Rainbow Wireless Charger Pad. I did not test that this worked, and I put that in the listing because I don't have uh, an iPhone and I think this only worked, I'm pretty sure it said it only works with Apple 
I could have been wrong, but I didn't test it. And I just said that. And I said open box. Very honest. It sold. Thank God it worked. Um, I had it priced at 22 minus a shipping discount of 150 I made a net earnings of 60 I shouldn't say net because net means I'm taking out my cost of goods. I have an earnings of $16. Then you deduct the $2 I paid. I have a net earnings of $14.10, which I am happy with. You see why I really like that Quick Lots palette? I love selling hard goods, easy to photograph, easy to list. It's just great. Another pair of these Hologen Cashmere Gloves sold. These ones I took an offer of 17. Some people offer like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, and I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. These are new with tags and retail for $40, but I just wanted to move through them. Um, these sold for 17 minus a shipping discount of 150. I got an earnings of 12.10. I paid $2, so I made $10.10. Amazing. Okay, just imagine I have well, not imagine. I have 40 pairs of these gloves, and let's say I make a minimum of $10 net after cost of goods and fees, $10. That would be 400 bucks in profit. But I'm some of these you guys I'm selling more I'm selling them for more on eBay, I've noticed. Like on eBay I'm selling them for more like 35 to 25 to 35 dollars. On Poshmark they're selling for a little less. So if I make a net earnings of 20 bucks times 40, $800. I think I'm going to fall somewhere in between that um, 10 to 20 bucks, like after fees and cost of goods. So super happy with that. Um, this, oh, this was a case that got opened. So this is Sonoma Goods. I have had this for years. I don't know why I bought this. Sonoma Goods is sold at like Kohl's, I'm pretty sure. It's a very affordable brand. I got this at the bins like two years ago just because it was really soft. I've relisted it, delisted it, tried to sell it everywhere. It finally sold for $9. Yeah, $9. And it had a shipping discount of $1.50. She offered me $9. I just wanted to get it out. I wanted to get it gone. I will not buy that brand again. I just, I don't know why I picked that up. Well, I do. It was a large and it was small. And in the listing, I said, loose threads, see pics, otherwise in good pre-owned condition. But she opened a case and said, I think she said like the armpits had too much pilling or it was uncomfortable or I don't know. She basically wasn't happy. Something about it wasn't comfortable and the armpits had more pilling and I should have notated that there was extensive pilling under the armpits. And I was just thinking, you guys, I always tell you, my thoughts are in, on returns. If you want to return something, I really don't care. Just freaking return it. I take all emotion out. I really don't care. I probably get one or two returns a quarter. Um, even less on eBay. But now it's even less on Poshmark because I'm so descriptive with every any flaw. It used to be like one a month on Poshmark, but now it's like one or two a quarter, like I said. So I don't care. You want to return it? Return it. I don't even comment on cases on Poshmark. I don't want to comment. If they want to return it, let her return it. But when I saw she opened a case and said that, I was like, girl, this was $9. I get it. She did pay, what, like five bucks in shipping, but I was like, nine dollars? I don't know. I just would have kept it. Like, it didn't seem like she hated it. It just sounded like she was like annoyed with, I don't know. Anyways, because I only made four dollars and fifty-five cents, I didn't comment on the case at all. Poshmark just um, gave her back her money and released their earnings to me. And I was like, whatever, that's fine. I thought they were just gonna let her send it back to me. I would have just donated it, so I'm glad she didn't send it back. But I just thought that was funny. And you know, I shouldn't poke jokes. Like, you know, 15 bucks is a lot of money to some people. And I totally get that. Um, so I shouldn't make jokes. I just thought it was funny that she was like, I mean, it is soft. She said something like, oh, it is soft, but there's some pilling and she should have notated how much pilling's under the armpits. I'm like, I don't know. I've just noticed that the Poshmark shopper is way more picky, way more than eBay. Moving on. Um, this Tahari black skirt I had for a year. I didn't know when this would sell. 
I like selling Tahari because eventually it does sell. It may take a while. Uh, this sold for $27. It had a shipping discount of $1.50. So I got $20.10. I got this from the bins and I paid like $1.34 for it. So super happy with that. And I got a five star rating. Hi there. Thank you so much and God bless always for all your good efforts and sharing. So I thought that was nice. Next up, we have this Nike Pro Combat Dry Fit Women's Thermal Size Small. This I've had for almost two years. I thought that this would sell so much faster than it did. I should have just kept it. I thought it was really cute. It had like this side panel design on one sleeve. Uh, this sold for $13 minus the Poshmark fee and the shipping discount. I only made it $8.55. I got this on dollar day, so I still made a profit, but, <clears throat> and I got a five-star rating, but I don't know. That was cute. I should have kept that. Moving on. This is a new with tags, Victoria Beckham bomber, bomber jacket and shorts. These were sold at Target. Oh my God. This was, came out years ago, you guys. I do not like buying these Target collabs, unless they're super coveted to sell because sometimes you get screwed and they just sit and sit. And so this sold, the whole set sold for $22. I think brand new, the set was probably like 50 bucks. Um, so this is one that I actually lost money on. Gave me a net earnings of 1610. So that's whack, womp womp. The most recent Target collab uh, with that uh, designer, I can't remember his name, I did a video on it. That's done well, I've sold a lot of those dresses uh, for really good profit, but Victoria Beckham, not as popular as I thought it would be. This Banana Republic shirt, what size is this? It's a size medium. Oh man, I've had this for like two and a half years. I do not like picking up Banana Republic. I used to sell so much better pre-pandemic, especially the workwear if it was more unique, but like basic pieces like this black sweater. I'm just happy this sold. This sold for $9 and it had a shipping discount of $1.50. So I made $4.55. I paid a dollar for it two and a half years ago. So $3.55. I have since stopped picking up Banana Republic unless it's a super current or new um, style, like within the last year or two. Otherwise, I don't pick it up because it'll just sit and sit and you'll be lucky if it even sells. I don't even send it to thread up very often anymore, like I said, unless it's really unique because they won't give you much money for it. These new tags, Champion Women's, what are these called? Women's Rally Mesh Vamp Sock Sneaker. I did not know that these were so popular. Within posting these, these had so many likes. Within posting them, within like a day, so many likes. I got these in my thread up shoe unboxing. I showed it to you guys in that shoe haul. Um, the back of one of the shoes was cut and I just took photos and listed it. And it sold for full price at $70. And gave me a net earnings of 56 bucks. I paid $6 per pair. So I made $50 profit, super awesome. And um, the person gave, I don't understand this. They gave a four star review, but they said nothing to improve. They are perfect size, color, and comfort. Weight are all perfect, but they gave me four stars. So, mm -hmm, whatever. I'm just glad they're happy. <laughs> Another new with tags halogen cashmere hat. This is purple. It says fast and nice seller. Oh, love my new purple beanie. So this sold for 17. I, like I told you, these are selling for a lot less. I've noticed on Poshmark. Um, there was a shipping discount of 150. Gave me earnings of 12.10. I paid two dollars. So I made ten dollars and ten cents. This Cinderella dress I picked up on Dollar Day. I sent it to Thread Up. It didn't sell. So then I decided to sell it myself. It's a size four. It sold for $40 minus the Poshmark fee of eight bucks. I made 32 bucks. I paid a dollar for it, so I made $31. I'm super happy. Okay, the next two are more cashmere. I told you guys I've been selling through the cashmere. We have some more cashmere gloves. These sold for 21, gave me earnings of 15.30. You already know. I paid two bucks for them. Oh, it's such a nice comment. She said, perfect for this winter. Love your YouTube channel as well. Thanks. 
I never see the comments, you guys, until I film these videos. I just keep plugging away, listing, sharing, that I don't even read. I need to read the comments more often. Uh, a cashmere gray hat sold. This one sold for 15. Gave me earnings of 10.50. I paid two dollars, so 8.50. Geez, that's probably one of the lower priced ones. This is another item from the Quick Lots palette. <laughs> I've been selling through this stuff consistently. Uh, these pumpkins, I knew. I was like, if these don't sell around Halloween, I don't know when I'm gonna sell them. It was a pair of like these lightweight decor pumpkins. They're, they're like a marble finish. These sold for $17, uh, minus the Poshmark fee, gave me earnings of $13.60. Remember, I paid two bucks, so I made $11.60, and I got four stars, but she didn't say why. So, mm -hmm. And Taylor pants, why did I buy these? They're just, I like selling Ann Taylor, but like I always say with Banana Republic, J. Crew, it needs to be more unique. I picked up these workwear trousers, they're a size four, like two, three years ago but these sold for 18 bucks i picked them up on dollar day and gave me earnings of 14.40 i paid a dollar for these so 13.40 i will take it two more cashmere hats i won't go into because i mean you get it at this point one gray hat sold for 21 uh, net earnings 1530 and this was the only one I had like this it was white and gray and striped it was black black gray and white this one sold for full price at 30 uh, earnings were 24 I paid two I made 22 bucks so that was great all right this new tax free people hat was very very popular it's just big it has a pom-pom on the top Two pom-poms on the bottom, super warm, super soft. I wanted to keep one, but I was like, I don't need this. I don't live somewhere where it's cold enough to wear this. It sold for a full, full price of $40. Um, minus the Poshmark fee, I, I got 32. This was another Quick Lots item. I paid two bucks for, so I made a net profit of $30. I will take that all day. This is an item I probably wouldn't pick up again. I picked this up right at the start of the pandemic. Madewell had this huge sale and I feel like all the resellers bought all the same stuff. And so the market was just flooded with the same stuff. This was a new with tags, Madewell color block pullover sweater. I think I paid $17 for this. It sold for 33 bucks, so minus the Poshmark fee and the shipping discount of 150. I made $24.90, but it took what was that like a year and a half to sell and i just barely made a profit so i wouldn't make that same mistake again another cashmere item uh this was a ivory hat this sold for 21 bucks gave me a net earnings of 15.30 i paid two bucks 13.30 this is why i love selling those things you just they sell so quickly Oh, and it says thank you. Exactly. This as person described. bought a bundle of the halogen items. She got two pairs of gloves, one gray, one black, and then a hat. Um, and she offered $68. Of course, when I'm paying $6 total for all three of those, I said yes. Gave me a, a net earn. I don't want to say net earnings. It gave me earnings of $54.40. I paid $6 for them. That is amazing. And she gave me a five star rating and said perfect thanks i love that this item actually got lost in the mail for a while i don't know what happened this was a new without tags nbd which is sold at revolve this is from my revolve palette it was a cutout dress size medium i thought about keeping it but i wasn't going anywhere so this sold for 72 dollars uh gave me earnings of 57.60 and it got delivered and she said that she did couldn't find it. Like, I guess it wasn't in her mailbox or something. I don't know what happened. She found it eventually. You know, sometimes the post office says they've delivered something and it doesn't come till the next day. I think that's what happened. This dress sold so fast. This was from my Thread Up Bulk it's such a long name the thread up bulk clothing hauls i've been doing this is a lulu's dress it's a size small bolo i mean it's not you're not going to make a thousand bucks but lulu's dresses if they're in good condition have a cult following and will sell super fast this dress sold for 35 dollars, you guys this dress brand new was probably like 45 
maybe no i found it online i think it was 60 dollars but I mean, they already don't retail for a huge amount of money, but they hold their value. So it sold for 35, gave me a net earnings of 20, gave me an earnings of $28. On this item from this box, I paid a dollar and 22 cents per item. Um, this is why I've been enjoying buying those thread up boxes because when the stuff sells that you can sell, you make great money. You could sell a couple items. Like look at that item, I made 27 bucks. I sell 10 items like that, that's all profit because I've already made my money back from the stuff I sent back to thread up plus other items I've sold. So it's been great. This White House black market sweater was an anomaly. I don't understand it, it was such an enigma. Like it had so many likes and I was almost like, why? I mean, it's cute, it had 15 likes. It's White House black market. I've worn it in videos when I was pregnant. I tried sending it to ThreadUp, it didn't sell. I had a bunch of watchers over there. It finally sold, I've only had it for a year, uh, but it sold for 15 bucks. I got it from the bins, so I paid less than two bucks for it. Gave me an earnings of 10.50. I paid $2, we'll just say $2. I know it was closer to a dollar. I'll take it. I probably could have kept that and worked for work. It was a little oversized. Uh, it was great when I was pregnant. I should have kept it. It was very thick, even though it was sleeveless and very warm, but comfy. The fabric was really soft. So White House Black Market, that is one mall brand that I'm going to keep selling. Certain people love it, and it actually holds its value. It's just very saturated. So I try to stay away from the more common pieces and to pick up things that are colorful, dresses, um, skirts, sometimes even some of their jeans. Like people love it. So I still send it to thread up and sell it myself also. This is a new Atags Madewell flannel tie front shirt. Um, this is another one of those items that I bought in the beginning of the pandemic. I paid $12 for this. It sold for 40, um, gave me 32 I paid 12 so I made 20 bucks which isn't bad but I had that for a while and I still have a lot of that made well stuff I was very very happy with this sell I actually bought these Jeffrey Campbell shoes to wear myself I bought them from Nordstrom Rack they were on sale they were like deeply discounted I think I paid $35 for these and I bought them for work right before the pandemic hit and then my job was like you can work from home so I was like great and I didn't really like them that much they were new in box. I never wore them. I just tried them on once. Um, they sold for $91. I did give free shipping on those because I just wanted to get my money back. So I made an earnings of 65 and I paid 35 I'm pretty sure. And I got free shipping because I ordered like four pairs of shoes. So I made like close to 30 bucks. That is a inventory option, friends. Check online stores and look at their like clearance section. And if, I mean, it's easy to look up comps because you're at home, you're on your computer. If it's a style that's selling well, uh, check it out, you know? Cause hey, you know, I was planning on keeping those for myself, but I ended up making a profit on them. So I was happy with that. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here, you guys. I think we'll stop on this one. I talked about this on the reselling Instagram. I love selling hard goods. I found the R Place Pants. It's O-U-R Place Pants. Um, they're called like the Always Pan or something. They're everywhere. They have marketing on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. People love them. I found them for $30 at my honey hole and I bought 10 or about 12 of them. And I've been selling them anywhere from $100 to $140 on Poshmark and eBay. So I sold two on Poshmark. I sold one for $99. She gave me five stars. Uh, minus the Poshmark fee. Gave me an earnings of $79.20. I paid $30. So I made $49. And it sold within a day of me listing it. The next one sold for $100. Bucks five star rating, uh, minus the Poshmark fee gave me 80 bucks. I paid 30, I made 50 bucks. Another one that sold within 24 hours. I don't think you're gonna find those everywhere. Like it wasn't a thrift store. It's one of my favorite stores to get inventory from. Um, and the owner told me that he wasn't getting anymore. So it's kind of sad, but I don't 
don't know if you find it at the thrift store, it would probably be used. These were all brand new, just open box. I think two of them are gently used, but they all have the box. It comes with a little spatula and everything. So yeah, definitely a bolo if you can find it. Cause I was looking on eBay, even used, they're selling for like 60 to 80, not 80. Like I think the high end I saw was 60 and it was used, but it was gently used. So I don't know if you find it at the thrift store I, I wouldn't pay 30 bucks for it the only reason I paid so much is because like I said they were new they were in box they were either brand new not used or gently used so that was a lot hopefully you enjoyed let me know in the comments down below if you want me to keep doing more what sold videos and I will see you soon